Hey guys, Monica here, and I hope everybody is having an awesome day. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to take an old long sleeve shirt that maybe just is too worn out, or you just don't wear it anymore for whatever reason. I know mine was just so raggy that I couldn't wear it in public anymore. And so anyway, I'm going to show you how to cut it up where you're separating the sleeve from the bodice piece, and then I'm going to show you how to use these new pieces as patterns for new clothes that you can make. It's basically just using an old shirt to create a pattern to make new shirts or dresses or whatever. So anyway, let me stop blabbing and let me get on with the tutorial and show you how to do it. To start, you'll need a well-fitting long sleeve shirt that you're willing to cut up. I know this whole tutorial is an easy tip, but I think that cutting a shirt to use as a pattern is super convenient. It's also a great place to start if you're a beginner learning to make clothes because you don't need any measurements or pattern drawing, yet you'll still have a basic pattern to use when you're done. To separate the sleeve from the bodice, just cut a little snip in the sleeve near the seam, then carefully cut along the seam to remove the whole sleeve. I ended up cutting off only one sleeve, just in case I wanted to experiment with the other in the future, but you can always cut the second off too if you want. When you've separated the pieces, turn the sleeve inside out and cut off the seam to open it up, cutting as close to the seam as you can. When you unfold it, you'll see the basic sleeve shape. The best part about this technique is that you have a pattern without measuring, but I'll do my best to explain each area of the sleeve anyway. Just know that I'm self-taught, so these are my observations, not technical information. This bell-shaped curve area of the pattern is what will match up to the armhole of your bodice piece. The distance from the highest point of the curve to the bottom of the sleeve will be the length of your sleeve, starting from your shoulder. From this corner to this corner will equal about what the distance around your arm right underneath your armpit will measure. Finally, this will equal the distance around your arm wherever you want the sleeve to end, like your wrist or upper arm. Always remember that whenever you use a sleeve you cut from another shirt as a pattern, you need to cut out your new sleeves with plenty of extra seam allowance on all sides. Before using it as a pattern, you'll want to neaten up the sleeve a bit by folding it in half and trimming the edges so that everything is super neat and symmetrical. I used a rotary cutter, but you can definitely use scissors too. Now that we've got a couple of pieces to use as patterns, I'll quickly show you how you can use them to cut out a bodice piece and sleeve, and then in my next two sewing tutorials I'll be showing you how to sew some awesome tops. To use the bodice piece as a pattern, you can just fold the other sleeve out of the way if you decide to keep it attached, and then fold the bodice piece in half. Lay your bodice piece over a piece of folded fabric with the folds matching up, making sure the stretch of your new fabric goes across your body horizontally. Then you can easily cut out a new bodice piece using this one as a pattern, adding seam allowance as you cut. Pretty easy, right? To cut out a sleeve, fold your sleeve pattern in half, and if you want to make a shorter sleeve, just fold the pattern to be whatever length you want the new sleeve to be. Then just match up the folds of the pattern and fabric and cut, again remembering to add that extra seam allowance. Also, make sure the fabric will stretch around your arm for comfort and good fit. In a future tutorial, I'll show you how to sew this awesome top that I made with the pieces I just cut out, but now you know how to cut up an old shirt to use as a pattern. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'd also be really happy if you hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on any more tutorials, which include this really comfortable loungewear top I have on now, as well as a fancier top with a cool keyhole opening on the back. And they both actually use the pieces we just cut out in this tutorial as patterns, so you don't need any fancy patterns or anything. So anyway, thank you so much for those who have subscribed, I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to see where my channel goes. Thanks guys, and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye. Take an old long There's something in my tooth. Everybody has has it. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. I can't talk. That was a weird noise. And creating pattern uh bleh.